Along with many other member-only events we put on throughout the year, the Safety Day at Sea is a very important event we put on for our members. We were honored to have the U.S. Coast Guard Sector Long Island Sound on site to be part of our Safety Day at Sea event. Commander Duchette addressed the crowd about the importance of being safe while out on the water. I thank Tom Kalmbeck uh, and CETO for inviting the Coast Guard to be part of uh, today's Awareness Day as part of a national uh, effort to educate recreational boaters in, in the communities of, of the dangers of, uh, of being out there unprepared to, in the maritime environment. We use this moment at the mix of spring and summer uh, to heighten awareness among recreational boaters and paddlers and all others that use the waterways as an importance of always wearing your life jacket. Uh, today's event is plain and simple, a reminder that there's an inherent risk to use in our waters and as much as they are inviting and enjoyable, our inland and coastal waters can be mercilessly unforgiven for the ill-equipped, unprepared or unsuspecting boater or paddler. Wearing a comfortable, properly fitted life jacket is your first step to survival. This year, we gathered local experts at Saybrook Point Marina in Old Saybrook, Connecticut to give our members hands-on training with VHF radios, flares, and fire extinguishers. It is important to us that boaters feel comfortable using these tools to keep themselves and their families safe while out on the water. We're here today with uh, CETO, basically just uh, making sure that the public knows about uh, recreational boater safety, make sure the, uh, they know the importance of using life jackets and just general boating safety. Uh, I know they did a flare shoot, which is very good. It's good for the public to know how to do that kind of stuff. You know, it's just very important that the public knows about uh, boater safety. Orion Flares provided us with on-water demonstrations of handheld flares and alert flares. On land, members of all ages were able to try out handheld orange smoke flares. Old Saybrook Fire Department was on hand to show us how to properly use a fire extinguisher. Our members were able to experience what it felt like to get extremely close to an open flame and to extinguish a fire. Captain Tom Kellenbach, owner of Seto Central Connecticut, educated members on how to use their VHF radio to make emergency and non-emergency calls and discuss the anatomy of the radio. On the side of the microphone is a button. You press the button on the side and CETO base, CETO base, CETO Westbrook. We also learned about the differences of fixed versus handheld radios. Saybrook Point Marina was also excited to unveil their electric car charging station while we were there. A special thanks to Saybrook Point Marina, Orion Flares, and the old Saybrook Fire Department who work with us closely to make this event a great educational experience for everyone. The Safety Day at Sea is another great benefit of being a CETO member. All your local CETO captains are dedicated to keeping you safe on the water and helping in any way we can.